Hello YouTube, this is Trisha coming back at you again. So by now you've read, you've not read, you've seen my video about my hair scare and all the products that I bought. Well, I talked to the girl, well the woman, who um, the stylist more so, who was going to color my hair. She wouldn't allow me to color my hair because it was just too dry, too brittle. So what she decided to do is, um, as she heard how I do my hair, she was like, no. And she was like, that's not going to work. So she want, she gave me a challenge. She wanted me to wash my hair with shampoo. Shampoo, I haven't really used shampoo like on a, on a regular basis in like, since 2004. Like seven years, I think. Yep. So what we, what she decided to do, like, she, she wanted me to lather my hair up six, <laughs> six times. She wanted me to lather my hair up six times. Um, the first part I started off with, I started off with AG's, um, anti gender control. I did the first four washes with that, and I could start to hear the squeak. She wanted me to get my hair squeaky clean. Um, I always thought when it was squeaky clean, it was too clean, but I was like, look, try, I, I want to do it, because I want to say that I've done it before, I've tried it, and I want to see what's going to happen, you know, just, we're just going to do this thing see what's going to happen, and then we're going to go from there. Okay. So, I did it, and then I followed it back with the real control, and I washed my hair two more times with this, and then for the first time, I got the foam, the the lather that um, she was looking for. She's like, you'll notice the lather because you've probably never seen it before, which is true. I've never seen a lather like that before, but the type of lather that it, it's like, it's kind of like watching the... And when you're at the ocean and the waves draw back and there's like this foaminess at the very end, that's the kind of leather that she was talking about. And that's the kind of leather I got off my hair. So then after that, I went back and I deep conditioned my hair with the uh, Jorco Intense, Intense Hydrator, Intense Hydration. Yeah. C more, moisturizing Conditioner or whatever it is. And for the first time, my hair was, oh, excuse this now, because this is the end. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do today so I can give you an example of how my hair looks. Because I think I should, I'm going to try to film it today so you can see. One, my hair was not as poofy as it normally is. And two, although I did not detangle it before I washed it and, and shampooed it, I washed it and conditioned it because I detangled it as I deep conditioned it. It was much easier to detangle than... It would have been if I had just been co-washing it. Um, I was very surprised and I was really happy with it. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's time for me to switch it up. Maybe it's time for me to try something different. So I did go back and I got the full sizes of the Reckon Real Control shampoo and conditioner. And they look like this. I went back. And I got the real sizes, and I'm going to be washing my, and shampooing my hair. Um, I asked her what kind of moisturizer she would recommend, but she told me, and this is a black stylist. And I know, you know, everyone says that there's not, no real difference between um, black and white hair, but there is. And I was very surprised that she stated that I didn't need to use a leave-in conditioner because I've always used one. I've used one since I was a kid. I thought that's what we do. Our hair is just always going to be dry, no matter what you do. Even when it's moist, you still want to add some more extra moisture to it. So I went ahead and I had my um, nets. I went ahead and I was like prepared to buy a big mask and all, all this stuff for my hair. But she said all I needed was this. And she stated, and I'm going to start twisting my hair up just to give my hair some relief so that I can get it colored. Because this is a lot of new growth and I do need to get it taken care of. But there's no point of bleaching and coloring my hair if it's not going to be healthy. That doesn't make any sense. So I popped on some lipstick for you guys today. You like it? I like it. It's a nice kind of neutral look. It is called... Like... Something berries. Peaches and berries. Peaches and berries. I don't know, y'all. I have to figure it out. What's it called? No, this isn't it. Anyway... I find out what it's called, but it's from Alta, the Alta brand. They reformulated their colors and they gave us free samples to try. I like it a lot. All right. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be. This is probably some extra stuff. I'm gonna be doing 
in this video, I want to wash and condition my hair and then I'm going to come back and show you what I've used. Today will be a video day for me. I'm going to try to get some things in that I really want to get in today and then we're going to go from there. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching and rate, really comment, rate if you like it or dislike it and subscribe if you like what you see and if you want to watch my journey. Thank you and have a good day.